Hi folks, it's Florida Deer. Today's project is going to be sort of rehabbing this 54C, 54 inch deck that, that can be found on GT and GX series tractors. This one came off the GX 345 that I had. So hopefully my goal is to spiffy it up and get it ready for sale because I like to sell it. It's a pretty sought after deck. I mean, not super sought after, but it's it's one of the better decks that John Deere made. I think cosmetically it's in good shape. I'll um, kind of clean it up sometime during this process. But my main goal is to take a part of these. The bearings in these three main spindles are shot. And I'm trying to replace this one and uh, sell this double pulley to somebody uh, that bought the uh, power flow from me. So I want to try to get that off if I can before he buys an extra one from somebody else. And I think the bearings in here are fine. It's a little noisy, so I might consider redoing that one. And the knees right here, I will probably the new bear or probably just a new pulley there and a new pulley here too. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But I'm gonna go ahead and take apart the <coughs> the three main spindles right now and. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Hopefully they'll come off easy enough. Hey folks, so I got this, I got all three major, or, or the only three spindles and the, those particular pulleys, those pulleys are still on there. And then there's one over there that I'm gonna replace. It's kind of ratty, just one of the idler pulleys. So I think what I'm gonna do is just replace the whole unit, the whole spindles, uh, spindle and pulley for all three. Cause these things came apart but they were they were kind of nasty i had to beat some of them up and uh, i don't know which one took the most beating I mean, obviously that one is not reusable but that was the third one right here so we'll clean this up see how good she'll look and um still not sure about this one I mean, it's not quiet but it's not real loud either and same with this one i don't think i'm gonna replace that one so you know, I'm trying to, you know, kind of make some decisions here, right? Like, I'm not, this is not for a complete restoration. This is to put somebody back into, you know, mowing with their tractor, for, you know, for whoever buys it. And I think it's a nice deck. So, I'll, uh, like anything else, I disclose everything that, that I've done or haven't done to something. Obviously, making a YouTube video kind of <laughs> forces maybe that level of disclosure but hey buddy hey what you doing what you doing around here huh hmm? Hmm? good boy all right so i'll clean it up and get another shot there and then we'll order the parts so it might be sometime before this is about a week before thanksgiving so i don't know when those parts will get here but we'll have everything ready to slap the parts on belts back on and put it up for sale uh, by the time those parts come in so anyway Well, with a bit more scrubbing, I could probably get it a little bit cleaner, but I think that that's relatively clean. So, I'll order the parts. And everything else looks good, so I'm going to order those three spindles and then this pulley as well. And then I have the rest of the hardware here. I think that spring is fine. These springs seem fine. All this hardware seems good. Like I said, I might try to swap out some of these wheels certainly the front one these are i think are all like uh maybe easy a little less easy to take apart so i'm not sure i will fool with those and i think these are smooth enough to just you know keep and all this right here is good this is where they have a tendency to fail is their connections right in here the welds same thing over here, right there. And these support brackets, I mean, that's what they hang off of, so that's where the stress is. Okay, so before I move on, there were a couple things I've done and I might do differently, and that was, I did put the first spindle on, and I have to put that one on, that one over there on, which I'll do. But I had to get a little, you know, the large nut here plus a 
lock washer and I'm not sure that I really want to go that route and so I might actually order the large nuts from John Deere and of course my dealership is going to be closed till after Christmas so uh, I mean that's not a big deal I'll probably still you know, put the deck up for sale and just switch those out I'm not sure that I'm going to do that but that's where I'm likely headed and then I do have to put this sucker back on here use its hardware which is right in there and and then um, I think that's about it get the belt on I took some pictures from the other 54 inch deck that I had because of course I can't remember how they go I mean I'd eventually figure it out but it's always better to just have pictures and then that way you can do it correctly the first time and not have to you know make a bunch of mistakes first so I'll take you through the rest of getting these connected and then that'll pretty much be close to the end of the video here I'm just showing the installation of the lower part of the spindle. These are undermount spindles on these particular machines. I think the cheaper box store John Deere's have the overmount spindles. But anyways, I'm just there's four uh, nuts washers and lock washers that I'm fastening here, and then I'll move on with the shaft in the next clip. So that's what the little aftermarket spindle looks like before you put the actual spindle on and the pull we'll do those next and get that going and this is just basically the installation of the shaft and pulley nothing more than that and i use the screwdriver to hold it steady so this is simply a different angle uh, for insulation on the spindle on the other side of the deck basically doing the four bolts on the spindle itself and then we'll slide the shaft up and then also install the pulley on top uh, which is you know much a little bit quicker than the bottom part because there's only one screw or one nut there that needs to be screwed down and that's it okay so the next thing to go on here is the tensioner or idler pulley which this just goes like right like this. You know, you can probably tell from how that is. And then this bolt comes up through. And then this, the size of this fits into there. And then this clamps over it, over the pulley as you see. And then that is the nut that goes on top. So I will show you that in its completed form once I get done. So I got this squared away. I did need to put a washer on top of, well, I had to put a washer right below this item right there to make sure that the bearing could, or that this pulley could spin freely. Before I forgot that it was just clamped down to the pulley, which is obviously not good because then rotate this way, it would loosen and rotate that way, it would tighten. And of course this whole thing would move, which is not how it was designed. So I have to put the belt on, but then you know, it'll be ready for sale. So one of the a couple screw ups I had is I ended up needing to replace the underneath spindles. But what I didn't do is I didn't save these. So these are outrageous amounts of money. Okay, these are like 35 bucks a piece. They are American made and they're OEM, but that's crazy money. So that kind of cut into whatever profit I'm gonna make on it. And I try to avoid the Chinese stuff I, that I can, but I don't like to pay outrageous, you know, prices either. So, you know, there's that. I did actually order the wrong spindles first. It said it was for this, this deck, but the spindles were on top. They were overmount spindles. And what I should have done, they, they offered a bargain if I kept them. And what I should have done was kept those and then just take the pulleys off of those and put those on there they were way cheaper than these pulleys and these pulleys obviously that i ordered were not oem but they did not come with the pulleys so i had to spend probably close to 200 bucks on well it might have been a little bit less but anyways it was way more than i had in, originally anticipated when i was doing my price checks it was going to be under 100 bucks so i mean i guess the good thing is you know you live and you learn and these are you know american made pulley so i guess i don't know if that's really a selling feature for anybody but you know lesson learned on my part so there were a couple different things i would have done 
I before I you know junk those things I should have taken off the pulleys I needed to, to still get one pulley because the pulley that was over here was the double mount and so that actually was sold and sent to somebody else and so I would have needed to buy one pulley anyways but and I needed to buy all the spindles but I could have saved these two pulleys and I could have saved all the nuts because I think I'm gonna have to you know replace those nuts so all right so I put the belt on and the spring everything operates as it was intended that is a little bit noisy i'm not sure i want to be too concerned about it but i might look into getting the new bearings for that that it's this doesn't seem to be the issue but the double pulley back here seems to be a little bit louder than maybe it should so anyways we'll see hey folks thanks for watching if you like this video Click the like button for me and if you want to see more videos dealing with the john deere garden tractors and john deere one series you can hit the subscribe button as well again thanks for watching bye